Hey YouTube, how's it going? I want to make this video um, as quickly as I can. Uh, so just try to bear with me here as I explain all this stuff. I want to explain how the MLC box wires up. Uh, what I have here is I have a 100 amp sub panel running um, 100 amp cable going into it there. You got your, you know, your two, two hot wires and then you got your ground wire. And then um, you take and you have your three wires 100 amp cable running into your MLC box. So there's the ground, and then, then there's the two hot wires on the 100 amp sub panel. Then I just ran it out of the box through the wall, um, and I'll take you into the room where I have the MLC box so that you can see how that is all wired up. And give me one second. Okay, so here's how I have all the ballast. Uh, this top row right here is because the cable is the, the hoods that are furthest away. It's the shortest cable, then you got your second shortest cable, then your longest cable. And uh, so there's four of them up there, and then you got all these right here. But um, here's the MLC box. And is how this is wired is you got your big cable coming through the wall, and it goes up into the bottom of the MLC box and then it wires up in here. It's very simple. Um, if you really want me to open this up and look, uh, I don't mind doing that, but it's just two hots and a, your grounding wire. So anyhow, there are the issues with the MLC box, I'll try to confirm them really quickly, is that you can see is that there's bank one, bank two, bank three, and bank four. They're all 30 amp. Um, 30 amp breakers on them, which would mean 120 amps of service to this. Then you have bank one for these four lights, bank two for these four lights, bank three for these four lights, and then bank uh, four for these four lights, which would be a total of 80 amps. Um, which means that the MLC box says not to put, the MLC cap company says do not run more than 80 amps breaker running 80 amp wire into here. Well, how do you do that? Because according to code, electrical code, 80% of a load is all you're allowed to run 100% of the time and anything more than three hours running is 100% of the time on an electric load. So how do you run 80 amps of ballast on 80 amp cable off of it? And then it goes to show that even though they said that, they have 120 amps of the breakers up here, 430s. So that made no sense to me, so I just cut it in the middle. I did 100 amp. Even if I were to run all 16 hoods at 80 amps, I'd still be at 80% off of a hundred so um, but I'm actually only pulling 60 amps so I'll be perfectly safe that is okay to do it's not it's not going to be an issue because um, there's 120 amp breakers here there's only a hundred amp cable running off of a hundred amp breakers so nothing here is going to be overloaded tripping out or anything like that everything is completely safe and and um, nothing like that's going to happen the other thing here is trigger cables how the MLC boxes are powered so you can see here is a small short cable running out of the bottom of the box and there's another small short cable running out of the bottom of the box. This MLC Master Lighting Controller 16 dual trigger X plug. The X plug means that you can run uh, 120 amp style plugs on 240 volts or you can run your go out and pay all the extra money for 240 volt style plugs or if you already have them the power cords um, then you can run those too, too but they carry the same voltage so you can run 120 amp cables on 240 as long as the box is wired for it and as long as the the 240 volt plug will accept the 120 style plugs so that's completely safe to do too it's just got to be the X plug so um, back to the triggers how the triggers work is the two wires are running off the back bottom of the MLCX and then you plug it into a timer and the timer is plugged into a power source. In this case bank one and bank two run off one trigger and bank three and bank four run off another trigger. So I can stagger them so I can run six lights at a time if I want um, or I can run like every other light so that every so that during my bed cycle if I blast them with 12,000 watts on the first grow. I can set this timer right here to turn on at, you know, for eight hours on six lights and then they shut them off and turn the other ones off on this timer um, 
for the other eight hours or 12 on 12, however you run them, 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day, 24 hours a day. I personally, I run them 18 hours a day. Um, so that's pretty much how it works. When this says power on, then it sends electricity from this cable into the box and it switches the trigger. It's a trigger switch. Um, gosh, I can't remember the technical name for what that is in there for some reason, dang it. But um, it will flip a switch and it will allow the power to run from those 100 amp cables into the main box. Um, so it is able to shut the power on and off um, by flipping a switch in there. So that's how that works. Uh, everything right now is hot, so if I push the on button right here, um, the MLC would come on with all the ballast. And, but I don't have light bulbs in the hoods, or I would definitely be showing you guys that right now. I'm going to get the light bulbs tomorrow and um, hydrogen, so I'm hoping to have this room planted within the next week to two weeks. I already got the clones and the turbo cloners, so um, I hope this answers a lot of questions about how the room is wired. The MLC box, if you really want me to go into a short detailed video on what the inside of one of those looks like, it's pretty self-explanatory though. Um, it's just a place for your two hot wires to so go. It looks just like the inside of that panel that I showed you on the other side where the sub panel's running. So anyhow, um, in case you want to see, this is just a quick look. I put this wood up for a netting trellis to be able to hang in my hoods, um, and then my intake and exhaust fans, circulating fans. I got heaters in here running right now to get this room dialed in. I'm pretty much ready to go. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I answered your questions. Um, have a good night.